we've decided to clean this one using a wet clean method, which actually can be water and is water in this case. It's, but I have a very high end, uh, very good washer that I can select any one of many cycles. I then would put this according to color, and I don't want to put this with white, but I, I like medium colors together. I would then put the medium colors in the washer, put this in, close the washer, then I would decide how I want to wash it. Now I have spotted it and all that should come out in the, in the cycle. I want to do my, my detergent will be here. And then say I would like, I think that they're extra dirty or somebody fell or something with their garments. I would then use an oxy uh, addition of an oxy uh, type of uh, cleaner in it so that it would release the dirt a little easier. That would go into here. I then would push this in and I would put the control on. Now I have several cycles on here, being that that is wool, I have put it on wool. As you can see, when I turn the control on, it tells me how it's going to clean. It is going to clean in cold water, cold and cold, because you never want to use hot water with wool or it will shrink. Uh, it'll do a medium spin and this merely tells me it's going to be the loudest way for me to run and take it out. Uh, say I wished to do uh, something with silk. That is 26 minutes. That would be cold water again, but it would have no spin. This is computer programmed to how the item is, how the garment is, cl is cleaned and makes this a special way of uh, washing. Now it would wash and it would go through a full wash cycle. After my buzzer rings, I would then take it out. It will go through a full, uh, we will have uh, you know the water, the soap, the spinning, a full rinse. If I wish to have an additional rinse, I can add a rinse and it will go on an additional rinse to make sure everything is out of it. And in some garments, I may do that. Um, and then when it's all done, then I would take my garment out and lay it flat to dry. 